Uh, now, firstly, a story that's all over the papers. A lot of people are talking about this today. They have been married for 13 years. They have two daughters together, but their relationship is reportedly over after actor Ewan Grifford and his wife, actress Alice Evans, said this. Sad news. My beloved husband, soulmate of 20 years, Ewan Grifford, has announced he is to leave his family starting next week. Me and our young daughters are very confused and sad. We haven't been given a reason except that he no longer loves me. I'm so sorry. The tweet was then later deleted, <coughs> but then Alice said, Hi there, I didn't delete the tweet from a few hours ago about him leaving. He did from my account. And hell yes, when I am being gaslit and mentally tortured, then hell yes, I will wash my linen in public. Um, you know, Whenever we see these stories, there's lots of rumour and things, you know, lots of allegedly. So we don't know absolutely what is going on, Colleen. First thing I always think about this or any other of these kind of breakup stories, when it is being aired on social media and very publicly, is the children. I immediately think I feel for people when their relationships break down. People get angry and sad and emotional. But immediately I think that's all out there now. I don't know how old their children are. I believe they're quite young. But it'll always be there. You know, as an agony aunt, if some had come to you with that what would your advice be um well I kind of agree with you Ruth my first piece of advice would be think of the children because they're in the middle of all of this and they have to go to school and you know all their friends are probably on social media etc etc social media um when used in the wrong way isn't very productive or helpful and can be so damaging and I also think you know, having been through all of that myself, the, the heartbreak and the anger and all of that makes you very reactive. And I would say to anyone, just wait, even for an hour, two hours, just wait before you react. Um, because it's the instant reaction that later on down the line, you'll go, I wish I hadn't done that. Hold your pride, hold your, you know, your ego has been smashed, your pride has been smashed. Hold it together because you can get that back by being much more kind of calm and grown up about it. And, um, yeah, I, I don't agree with this whole social media thing of people no, I understand going for each other yeah. on social media. Pick the phone up. Yeah. I mean, that's the thing. Before social media, Brenda, you know, we would have just picked the phone up, Janet, wouldn't we, and had a rant to our girlfriend, guess what he's done, yeah, or yeah. guess what she's done. Um, and this is something quite similar has happened to you, hasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Well, I had a story sold on me um, a few years back, um, and it was, you know, front pages sex factor kind so of thing. So when you were actually on the X Factor? When I was on the X Factor, um, and it was front page sex factor and middle double page spread, you know, showing photos that I thought were not around um, of myself, that you know. But as you and Colleen have said, it was the, the kids that um, were affected by it, and it's also the children why I decided not to retaliate, not to say anything, not Which to must respond. Be very hard. It was very hard. If I didn't have the children, I would have responded. But you just play. It's, you just end up playing a game of tennis. It's backwards, forwards, backwards, forwards. That story. He said, she said, mm -hmm. and you know, at the end of the but day, the children are caught up in this. In your opinion, telling lies about you, yeah. it must be very hard not to respond. Yes, it is. But you know, those that are close and nearest to me, they knew the truth. So I don't need to prove anything to anybody yeah. by saying, well, actually, this is what happened, this is what happened. Um, Janet, I have to say, all of the tweets have been deleted now um, and uh, Ewan and Alice have issued a joint statement which says, as you can imagine, this is an incredibly difficult time for our family and we remain committed to our children. Thank you for respecting our privacy. Um, well, yeah, so maybe it was all... They can't in the put heat. it back in the box. They can't. As everybody said, she she should not really have posted that tweet. And, you know, in my relationships, when they've broken up, you know, they've been colourful, they've been roused, but, you know, my exact... the exact um, business that's gone on between me and my partners, I don't talk about in interviews. In fact, I don't really talk about my uh, partners in interviews. They're not half of me. I, I'm me. And what I find so laughable in these kind of situations is that they often... The man will organise a photo shoot. And, like, with the Dominic West situation, he dragged his wife into the garden, all right, she did so willingly, she's a grown-up person, and they put on this front about our marriage is all well. And that is just, you know, 
ludicrous. But again, Colleen, maybe people do that for the children. You know, I, I just I feel I feel for Alice Evans or anybody because you have that that initial. I mean, again, we don't know what's gone on. We don't really oh, when truly someone's know the story. been bad to you. Yeah, when, when someone's treated you shabbily, your reaction is to lash out. Yeah. And believe me, I've lashed out with my tongue behind closed doors. But what are you achieving by sharing it with the world? You actually diminish yourself a little bit. Yeah. And you just have to have the, you know, the self-control well, that what Brenda Colleen really back to what you said, isn't it? It's, it's like yeah. count to ten, phone a friend, step back, because, you know, yeah. it, you might regret this is, further down the line. Yeah, and the thing is, especially when you're in the public eye, at some point you are going to have to, you know, I've done it myself, you know, I've had to then explain, OK, we're not together anymore and these are the reasons why, but you wait until you're in a in a in a much more calm place before before you do that yeah um, well, as we said, we don't know all the facts there, just, you know, what we've read on social media and in, in the papers. And as they said in their joint statement, um, thank you for respecting our privacy. And, you know, we remain committed to our children.